Peter Do is a true sandbox experience derived by the seamless blend of real-time tactical battles with a large-scale strategy and power management layer in a massive, persistent open fantasy world. Now that was a long sentence, wasn't it? Um, Costas, uh, would you like to elaborate? Well, I guess not. Um, allow me to elaborate then. On one hand, we have real-time tactical battles with massive armies comprised of units, heroes, engines from various races, different unit types such as uh, light infantry, heavy infantry, ranged units, flying units, engines, different hero types such as casters and close combat experts. Each unit, hero or engine from every race is truly unique with its own stats, its own lore and special abilities or spells. There are also skill trees which lead to custom player builds and true specialization. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of synergies. We're talking about in-depth battle mechanics with fog of war, line of sight, flanking, morale, endurance, weather effects, and many more. Players can engage in a battle against the AI in one versus one, in co-op with other players, and there are of course player versus player battles with up to 30 versus 30 players in a single battle. Uh, Panos, uh, would you like to continue? No? Oh well, I guess I will continue instead. Now, on the other hand, we have a persistent living, breathing world where kingdoms and empires control regions and antagonize over land and resources in real time. Players free roam on a massive world map and they are free to make their own decisions on how to play the game. Uh, will they become mercenaries, providing their services to the highest bidder? Will they follow a kingdom fighting under its banner? Or will they become lone wolves looking for opportunities? Maybe become traders trying to amass a fortune? Maybe try to raid cities or attack trading caravans? The possibilities are endless. We are aiming for a true sandbox experience where players make their own stories through interaction with the game world and other players. In Imperial Rule, players forge the history of the game through their actions and their consequences. Players will also be able to form or join teams, which allows them to conquer and own regions. This opens up another gameplay layer, the Empire Management layer. Guilds will be able to improve the infrastructure of regions by building specific buildings, roads, upgrade resources which may be located inside the borders, and improve cities and fortresses among other things. When a guild owns a region, it can also fully manage it by taking control of its production and conduct trading with other kingdoms or empires. The game economy is player driven and all of the products can be produced by players combining resources. As resources are not abundant in the game, the control of resources is a very important matter as it can lead to control prices, monopolies and economic and resource wars. Diplomacy and espionage is also possible and of course the guild is responsible for the security of its lands and its trading caravans by assigning and upgrading AI patrols and upgrading watchtowers among other things. Everything is of course happening in real time, so guilds should keep their allies close and their enemies closer. In the world of Edeli, politics and schemes are a common thing as guilds, kingdoms and empires struggle for more power. Um, Constantinos, uh, would you like to say something? Yeah, um, I would like to add that in the middle of we started the development of Imperial Rule about seven months ago, after working for many years on various games for other companies. The last game we designed and developed from scratch was an MMRTS web browser game with more than 400,000 registrations, 2.5 plus million gameplays, and more than 5 million online battles played. As you can understand, we have the skill set and experience to complete a game such as Imperial Rule, and to be honest, we always wanted to design and develop such a game. We are very passionate about it, and it is a game that we, as gamers ourselves, want to play along with you, the gaming community. However, love and passion alone will not be enough to make this game happen. This project is self-funded, and we need your help to complete it. The success of our Kickstarter is also the ultimate proof for us that the gaming community wishes to play this game, and that our past and future efforts are well placed. So, help us make this game happen. We have prepared some great rewards for you guys and an awesome Kickstarter page with a lot of details about the game. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, ask us questions, and if you like what you see, spread the word about our game. Help us raise an army of backers, and we promise you that you will leave memorable moments with yours in-game.
Thank you.